Hey, good day. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. We're going through the book of Joshua, and right now we're in uh, chapter 22. Yesterday's episode, um, I did actually in Washington, D.C. You can, If you missed it, you can watch it. Um, I And I apologize for the sound. There was like, uh, you know, food truck behind us, and, and um, I realized the camera was flipped wrong. Um, all kinds of stuff like that. But hopefully you got the message with it, uh, with the message of the monuments and monuments that are in our lives. Joshua 22 deals with monuments, but it also deals with, with several other things. And there's one central story in there that we can take a lot of uh, meaning out of. Uh, so I want to continue on today in Joshua 22 and read the first nine verses. I skipped those first nine verses and just focused on verses 10 through 34 um, when I was there in Washington, D.C. teaching. Uh, but today I want to po focus on those first nine verses. And then tomorrow and, and the next day, I want to focus on, on, it's entitled Tomorrow and the Next Day, From Possible Disaster to Happy Ending. And there's two things that caused, uh, that um, turned this disaster into a happy ending um, that we're going to talk about um, that we need in our lives. But today I want to talk about staying true to your word. Um, and this is taken today from Joshua 22, verses 1 through 9. So if you follow along in your Bibles, um, I'm going to read uh, here. It says this, Then Joshua summoned the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and said to them, You have done all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, and you have obeyed me in everything I commanded. For a long time now, to this very day, uh, you have not deserted your fellow Israelites, but have carried out the mission the Lord your God gave you. Now that you have, now that the Lord your God has given them rest, as he promised, Return to your homes in the land that Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you on the other side of the Jordan. But be very careful to keep the commandments and the law that, the Mo that Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you. To love the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to him, and to keep his commands, to hold fast to him, and serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. Okay, that verse 5 right there, that's important, and that's going to play out in what we talk about tomorrow. Okay you're going to see that it looks like the the tribes just ignored what Joshua said, but they didn't. Um, they were actually uh, holding uh, fast to that. Verse 6, Then Joshua blessed them and sent them away, and they went to their homes, to the half-tribe of Manasseh, Moses had given the land of Basham, and to the other half-tribe, Joshua gave the land on the west side of the Jordan, along with their fellow I Israelites. When Joshua sent them home, uh, uh, well, let me. See. <laughs> when Joshua sent them home, uh, boy, I'm having a hard time here today. When Joshua sent them home, he, he blessed them, saying, "Return to your homes with your great wealth, and with your large herds of livestock, with your silver, gold, and bronze, and iron, and a great quantity of clothing, and divide the plunder from your enemies with your fellow Israelites." Okay, they're taking home with them a whole bunch of plunder. Uh, from the land. Uh, so they didn't go back empty-handed. They have a whole bunch of uh, plunder. Verse 9, So the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh left the Israelites at Shiloh and Canaan and returned to Gilead, their own land which they had acquired in accordance with the command of the Lord through, through uh, Moses. So uh, what I want you to see here is this. It doesn't say it in this passage here, but we know this was a seven-year period. So this was a seven-year period when the people, when these two and a half tribes went and they said, hey, we want to stay on this side. And Moses uh, said, okay, okay, if you want to stay on this side. Uh, and, and Joshua then um, agreed to that. If you want to stay on this side, and this is the side they were staying on, okay. And then the other tribes were all on this side. For seven years the soldiers of the men, uh, really, uh, went and helped conquer all this territory, okay? Um, and some of the tribes didn't conquer everything they were supposed to, but these uh, tribes, these two and a half tribes, helped them conquer everything um, that they did. And then now they're coming back. This is seven years later. They're coming back. So imagine 
uh, you have your father and your husband gone for seven years. I, I, they might have come back like at Christmas time or something like that. Keep in mind there was no Christmas back then, but they might have come back every once in a while. But um, for seven years they were off fighting and, and uh, then they were coming back. But I want us to see that these guys stay true to their word. They said, hey, we're going to go, we will go and fight and then uh, we will come back. And that's what they promised to do. And that's what they did. Okay, for seven years, they went and uh, fought and did exactly what they were supposed to do. Uh, and, and the question is, would we be like that? Would we go, uh, you know, two, two years into it, would we go, you know what? You know, we've been working hard uh, two years and we've been fighting here in this war and stuff. Uh, it's time for us to go. Uh, you're on your own, okay? Uh, we probably would be like that. But these tribes were not like that. They made that commitment, and for seven years they continued in that commitment. And as a result of that, they're now being sent back home with a plunder and Joshua's blessing. Joshua said, hey, you did everything that you were supposed to do. You kept your word, and now I'm sending you back with a blessing. So that's the big thing, uh, staying true to your word. And hopefully you're like that. Uh, even when it, it's hard to keep your word, you've said something, and it's hard to keep that word, hopefully you're sticking to it and, and uh, keeping your word. Let me pray. Lord God, I pray that we would be people that would keep our word, that we would uh, stay focused on you and honoring you uh, with us telling the truth and keeping our word. Um, that you would guide us always. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for watching. I am a regular dude walking in the word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. As we continue looking at Joshua 22, and I have a special uh, section here of two episodes I want to talk with you about. Lord's blessing. I'll see you tomorrow.